Hey, what is up you guys? It's Tundra here and today we're going to be talking about what happened in the world of State of Decay and what exactly is play cards. But before we get into that, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as I'm going to be posting more content in the near future. But first, run that intro. Alright, so you guys, so we're going to be talking about what exactly went down in State of Decay. And not only what went down, what caused the plague, aka the black fever, and what caused these plague hearts. So, that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. So, what, what happened? Well, you see, in the world of State of Decay, when we were first introduced into State of Decay, one, if you want to say one or the original, what ended up happening is we meet a couple of characters who would then go on to be not necessarily in State of Decay 2 except for one person. As we know from Ed, Marcus, and you know, this whole little military thing was that there was a outbreak. A outbreak which is known as the Black Fever in the State of Decay world. And as we know in State of Decay 2, if you are actually playing within Heartlands, Heartlands takes place before the actual main story. Well, if you guys want to know how this come about, well, you guys can look no further than on State of Decay 2 with Jurassic Junk with the Jurassic Junks in place. When you first play Heartlands, Jurassic Junction is actually 100% intact and not only that you are in fact building a community while also discovering what exactly is taking place while in the main story Jurassic Junction is tore down with only remnants left behind and in fact your character will actually say a couple of things that he won't say anywhere else any place you go to on any other map or any base, your character will not have a dialogue for it. But he will have dialogues for when you come across Jurassic Junction or you're exploring Jurassic Junction. One of the things that I have noticed with the remnants of Jurassic Junction in the main story is the bodies being left behind. And if you actually take a look back at Heartlands you will notice that there are no play cards being left behind and I'm also going to be getting into that in just a minute but before that how did the play come about and what exactly happened well there's actually quite a few theories I would like to test out and explain which is one you know we ended up discovering all the bodies being in the water which can in fact you know cause disease and what we're dealing with in a state of decay is a disease known as the black fever or virus known as the black fever and so you see military you know they're shutting down everything else and in state of decay one you know there's there's zombies there they're just normal zombies you know people with black you know with the black fever and everything the little virus but in state of the k2 they seem to have developed a lot more worse you know they're they're not just zombies some of these some of these zombies actually have something going on with them you would start to notice that your normal zombies their standard skin and then you have these plague zombies which their skin is just it's red it's just I don't know it looks like their blood is just coming up to the surface and it is just all around not good for anybody and I have a theory of what exactly happened well when you play Heartlands you will start to notice that your characters are helping out scientists and you know doctors who are trying to come up with these cures for the plague and the black fever and also when you are doing the daybreak 
you know you start to notice that when you actually go down to the the daybreak when you click on it it will literally say that your red talon soldiers are mercenaries and if you know anything you would know that through the you know radio the radio chatter between the red talon soldiers and other people talking on the radio is that you know the red talent aren't like they are actually quite um enforcive if i can say the word and there's just so much going on to the point where you would see like red talent like helping because you know they are soldiers they are operators they are members of red talent who are doctors and chemists but we're not here to say that Red Talon is responsible for, but we are here to say that Red Talon can play a big part as in helping out these science scientists and doctors, helping them get bodies. In fact, when you are playing Trumba Valley, you would notice that at the very top of the map, um, top left of the map, the landmark um, outpost that you can get, when you actually go further on, beyond the uh, the outpost you would notice that there are actually bodies and it, it is actually sealed off like the water is sealed off like they don't want you going anywhere near the water and when taking a look around that landmark area you know all these bodies and everything that's just all happened to be piling up well they're not just bodies these were test subjects and if you know anything about how government works in the movies and tv shows well what they would do is anyone who is infected right they would take them quarantine them and also use them as an experiment you know as in hey we're gonna develop a cure and we're gonna test it on these people who are carrying black fever and see what we can do well, in the world, there are some who completely turn versus those who did not turn, but they still had the disease, but they just didn't turn yet. And so they were given this experimental cure to help, but instead it made it so much worse. And that is where we have these plague zombies come from. They're not your normal zombies. No, these are plague zombies that was given a experimental cure to help try to cure this disease, but it didn't help. In fact, like I said, it, it made it worse. And that's where I'm going to be getting to where exactly did the plague hearts come from. And you guys also may be wondering, well, how did it get here? Well, you know, if you guys would notice anything, you guys will notice that there is a plane that is actually torn down and that can be one of two things when it comes to that plane that plane could have been you know just traveling and it was just torn down but that's not necessarily true because as we know during heartlands part of what you have to do is get some samples from it and you can also do that in the main story as well when on trumbo valley you are getting samples from this plane so in my personal opinion the first one that i said goes out the window that it was just a plane traveling by with some carriers on there well yeah that goes out the window however a carrier is actually correct the carrier was carrying that sample on the plane and the plane like i said it could have been carrying some people who were infected and um, you know attack the plane the plane went down with the samples being on the plane which is why we are searching and scavenging for these things it's because that plane was carrying a plague cure but again that plague cure wasn't all that good it made it worse so what you are in fact doing during heartlands is you are coming up with ways to help these scientists and doctors come up with a much better cure that can help cure these people which we do manage to get in heartlands we managed to help create a cure that can help people who are infected 
and not turn them into plague zombies because that's exactly what happened experiments went wrong these people who were infected are now carrying a even worse progression of black fever they are carrying a plague <laughs> which turns their skin like blood red and this is where the plague hearts come from now i recently did a live stream where i was actually getting up close and personal with the the plague um hearts and i decided to do a little something to test a little something out which is when i got close to these things i decided to take a look and if you take a look it's not a single zombie that progressed into that state no it is the combination of multiple zombies who actually formed into that plague heart but was there just zombies no i don't think there were zombies i think there were people who were infected and was given a plague cure and what ended up happening was these guys you know they just started progressing at an even worse state and again if you take a look at trauma valley in the you know landmark area you will see that there are bodies on top of bodies there were multiple bodies inside of these things and you know chances is they probably formed together like they started conjoining together because you can see multiple rib cages so that is where i'm saying that it's not a one zombie it is multiple zombies there's multiple skulls there's multiple rib cages and these guys they just form together and these things they are like the big boss you know they can relate you know the play card they have control over plague zombies they don't have control over normal zombies no they have control over plague zombies and what i think happened is these were the ones who started it all like they were the first test experiments to have gone wrong and when zombies or infected people came across the plague heart they were then controlled they were then infected now their minds are being taken into places where these plague hearts they have complete control and if you notice if you actually start killing zombies within a close proximity to that play card you can awaken the play card but however what i did in my live stream was i decided to get up close and personal and i want you guys to notice that when you are attacking the play card you know it let out a they it lets out a screen that you don't necessarily get from you know regular zombies or even plague zombies but what i did was i was throwing molotovs at these things you know i would shoot them or i would just throw molotovs at them you can just hear the the screams that you know you would hear from normal people or even characters for that matter you know when they're when you are in pain you know you notice something and when these zombies are in pain you know they're not making that type of noise when the plague zombies are in pain they're not making that type of noise but the plague hearts are and that is because at first these guys they were just infected molded they molded together to create these things so the plague hearts still have remnants of you know their human emotions they they feel pain you know and that that's exactly what happened they they feel pain and what come about with these plague walls i'm not a hundred percent sure about the plague walls i can't even tell you but i do know when attacking the plague walls they seem to also feel something also start to feel emotions but i cannot for the life of me piece together what came about with the plague walls I, I honestly cannot tell you but with these plague hearts that is exactly what happened you know people who were still alive but molded together at the giving this experimental drug that was supposed to be a cure and anything or anyone who came into contact with the plague heart ended up becoming infected with the plague not only the black virus but the plague and that is why we are seeing plague zombies run about 
Trumbo Valley and all these other maps. I mean, even the game developers themselves had even said that, you know, they're not sure where it came from. You know, it could have started at any point in the world, which is true. And it is a fair assessment that it could have started anywhere in the world. And it ended up making its way down to Trumbo Valley. And, you know, you start, like I said, you start seeing all these bodies pile up in the water. And just like the movie Cabin Fever, in the movie Cabin Fever, you know, they had this disease that was being done because there was something in the water and it was causing them to have this bad and infection i mean they weren't zombies but they was infected with something and it was causing their skin to blister and all these types of things and well it's kind of the same in what state of decay you know it was something in the water you know which was these infected bodies who was carrying the black fever and of course given the experimental drug to help try to cure it only made it worse it combined these people who were infected to create play cards. Play cards then by infecting anybody who came into contact with them. Which is why when you are attacking the play card, if you are not burning it or shooting it, if you are straight up attacking it, you know that it lets out this gas. And that gas doesn't would then give you the plague. You will now be infected once it releases this gas and that is how it managed to get control over some of these people who came in contact with it. It will spew out this gas. Now you're infected. Because when you are no longer, uh, when you're dealing with normal zombies, you're not getting infected. No, you're just getting bitten. You're getting scratched. When you come across ferals and all these other zombies such as bloaters, screamers, and the tank. Notice that again, you're not getting infected, but how did they get infected? Because when you're playing on Dread, Nightmare, and Lethal Zone, you know, all four of these guys, they're infected. Which means at one point in time, they came across the Plague Card 2, probably attacked it, and ended up getting the Plague, and now they became these Plague Freaks. And these Plague Freaks are just running among, now they're in packs, now they are also protecting the flag cards more so the pharaoh who's actually protecting the flag cards whether he is infected with the plague or not it, it's crazy to think about but it's true so overall what is happening in Trumbo Valley well again the black fever came about scientists and doctors were trying to come up with a cure who progressed it at a worse rate creating the plague cards with the plague cards creating plague zombies and now what's happening is now they are trying to come up with cures which they have came up with to take care of plague zombies but not necessarily plague zombies but enough to give anybody the cure before they officially turn and that's what those cures are However, in Heartlands, they have the advanced cure, which means that once you take this for a short while, you cannot, well, you won't get infected with the plague. But in the main story, they just don't seem to exist. And this is what I want to talk about when you talk to Lily and you take Lily back to Jurassic Junction. She would then hereby say, you know, things had gotten worse. You know, she tried to help, but things just managed to get worse, which means at somewhere during the events of Heartlands in the main story, it seems like the advanced plague cure and all of their research was then by destroyed, which means they only had enough to keep the plague cure, but not the advanced plague cure that can stop you from getting the plague for a short amount of time and that's what I believe what was ended up happening which was Jurassic Junction was overtaken by hordes of zombies by hordes of zombies and somewhere through that they managed to lose their research for the advanced plague cures 
and now we are left in the main story with no enhanced plague cures but just remnants of the plague cure which you are helping rediscover and you are helping go by notes so this is everything that has been going on in the world of state of decay which is you know the black fever scientists and all these and i know i just went over this but you know just to remind you guys that scientists and these doctors were creating a cure which was not good you know they was testing them on humans and that's where you know we get these plague zombies and plague hearts from because the cure at the time created these plague hearts which thus created the plague zombies and the plague freaks and in my opinion i do think these plague zombies are the ones and these plague freaks are the ones who attack Jurassic Junction because when you are playing on Nightmare and Lethal Zone man you see these plague freaks all cluttered together in groups and that's what I believe happened to Jurassic Junction which is the plague freaks and plague zombies all overran Jurassic Junction causing a huge major loss to everything and when we are on the main story, we are literally picking up probably months after or weeks after Jurassic Junction was destroyed. Actually, I do think Jurassic Junction and all of that in Heartlands took place like months after. Because when you are walking through, you can still see bodies around it. Which means those bodies have been there for a while to be at that decaying state. But let me all, you know, let me know down in the comment section what you think. Do you think that it was scientists and doctors who created a cure that ended up making the plague hearts and the plague hearts created the plague zombies and, the, you know, creating the plague freaks and that they just took over Jurassic, Jurassic Junction? Do you guys think that that's what happened before we get to the main story? Oh, do you guys have a different theory? Let me know down in the comments below as I'll be replying to all you guys' theories on what happened. And I will be talking to you all later.